Welcome to Learn and Go with Dr. Lori. I'm Dr. Lori McCauley from Optimum Pet Vitality. Today we're going to talk about cooling tissue to enhance laser penetration. And you're going to say, Lori, why would I want to cool the tissue? Well, for better penetration. When do I need better penetration? In deep tissue. Think about a big dog, like a German Shepherd or a Mastiff that we want to get into their hip joints. Or if we want to treat the lungs and the heart, Lori, can you really treat the lungs and the heart with the laser? Absolutely. If you're not used to doing that, pop into OptimumPetVitality.com, into the Optimum Laser Therapy course, and there's a section on treating the lungs. Heart's coming. Not there yet, but it's coming. We can also treat the internal organs. Think about those cats with kidney disease, or if you have a cholecystitis, or if you want to get into the liver to increase blood flow and decrease inflammation. And the one we're going to talk about today is the common calcaneal tendon. You say, Lori, is there really research on this kind of stuff? Absolutely. This is a 2017 study done on humans looking at penetration after 20 minutes of ice. They used an 810 nanometer wavelength that was continuous and a 904 nanometer wavelength that was super pulsed. What's super pulsed? By definition, super pulse is at least 40,000 hertz, or it, the laser goes on and off 40,000 times per second, which means that it has a lot of energy that bam, pops through without causing any heat or any kind of damage so that you can get really good penetration you say, well, well, how does that happen? Well, the higher the power, the more penetration. Now, in some lasers, you need more power to get deeper penetration. But remember, doubling the power only increases your penetration about 5 to 10%. So we look at measuring the tendon. We're going to measure the thickness before and after ice as well. So when did they measure? They measured at 30 and 60 seconds with both the 904 nanometer super pulse and at 30 and 60 seconds with the 810. They also measured the thickness of the Achilles tendon itself. These were 27 humans, which is why it's not cal common calcaneal tendon, it's Achilles. So what did they find? They found that at each point after the icing, they had significantly more penetration with a great p-value. With the 904 nanometer, you actually had a 33% increase in penetration. And then with the, 80, with the 810, you actually had a 25% increase. That's pretty impressive. They also found when they looked at the thickness of the calcaneal tendon or Achilles tendon, it actually decreased. You can say, well, why would the tendon decrease? Well, we think about it could be vasoconstriction, but really tendons don't have a lot of blood supply, but it does tell us that the tissue with cooling does shrink, and that can be part of how we get the decreased impedance or the increased penetration. Other things to note is that when we looked at the amount of penetration coming through, how much energy was coming through, that the 904 actually had significantly more energy coming through or more penetration than the 810, even though it was at 60 milliwatts compared to the 810, which was continuous and at 200 milliwatts. Hmm, great things to think about. All right, I'm Lori McCauley with Optimum Pet Vitality. I hope you had fun, I hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time.